There are times in AutoCAD Electrical where you do need to export data out to other programs, other applications, and spreadsheets and databases. So let's have a look at that data on our drawing first of all before we export it. I've got a simple circuit here, I've got some fuses, some relays, and there's a motor there as well. So let's have a look at how this works. I'm going to select the fuse component there and edit the component. And what we'll do, we'll do a lookup and look up on the databases for the fuse information. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about specific fuses. I'm just going to go straight here for the one at the top like that and OK it. And I'm going to OK that there. So that adds the information there. And you can see the one amp goes on the fuse. I'll do the same for this fuse. And I'll edit the component. And I'll do a look up again as well. I'm just going to select the one at the top each time. I'm just adding catalog data purely for our data export. So I'll do this one as well, edit component, and I'm going to do a lookup again and use the busman fuse again in the list like so. So those have been updated. Let's do the relays now. Again, edit component, do a lookup, and I'm just going to select the one at the top of the list, the AB one there, and OK that, and OK it again. Now I'm just adding information here. So you'll notice sometimes you do get prompts, the parent's terminal pin list was changed. I'm going to OK that just to say that that's fine. I'm just putting data in. I want the data in there so that when we actually export this data and it goes out to Excel, we can have a look at it and see that information there. So there's another AB relay there, and I'll OK that. And again, I get the same alert prompt. And then last but not least, this component here. I'm just working my way through all of these and editing them as I go. So that one there, I clicked OK before I should have because I didn't do a lookup. Easily done. So we go back there, add the data, like so, and click on OK. So there's the data there. That's all updated. Let's go to the motor now. And we'll edit that component as well. Do a lookup again. And I'm just going to go for the one at the top of the list just to get some data into the project, like so. So that's all been updated. So we've got data in there now. We now need to think about exporting the data from this drawing. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the Import Export Data tab at the top there. Now, I'm not going to export it out to any applications like Inventor, Unity Pro. I'm just going to go straight to a spreadsheet and select the data categories to go. Now, if I do a general like that, what it will do is it will select all of the ones that have little asterisks next to them. So I'm going to OK that. And data export for active drawing only. And we want it to be Excel file format, XLS. We want all location codes. I click on OK. And now that's asking me where I want that particular XLS to go. Now, to make life easy, I'm going to drop that straight onto my desktop there because then I know where it is and click on Save. So you can see there, data lines extracted eight. So it's taken the data through and that's gone out to the spreadsheet. So let's bring that spreadsheet up on the screen now. So I'll just go down to my taskbar and open that up and bring it in. Now you'll notice I'm running Office 2007 and I've got a security warning. Macros have been disabled. So if I go to options now and enable that content and say OK, what will happen is you'll see the information here. So there's data there. And if you look at the tabs now, the macro has enabled and you can see all the information there on all the different tabs. So it's this one here, terminals. PLC, input output, signals, and so on. There's a whole load of them in the spreadsheet. Now, obviously, components, there's plenty of them because those were on the drawing. So you can see there, there's our information, there's our relays, our fuses, and our motor. And as I scroll across now, you'll see there's quite a bit of information in there. Not much, because obviously I've just taken the basic information and linked it across. But that's the whole idea of this. I'm exporting the data to a different application for somebody to work with that data from the drawing. So the whole idea of AutoCAD Electrical is you can create the drawings, export the data, and someone else can work with that data in something like Microsoft Access with an MDB file or Microsoft Excel with an XLS file, as I've just shown you. Let's have a look now at importing data. What we're going to do is we're going to export a spreadsheet make some changes, and then import that spreadsheet. So let's have a look at that and see how it works. First thing you must do in this case, if you're importing and exporting, is to make sure that your drawing is associated with your project. 
So I've created a new drawing for you, JIC Importing Data. So as usual, go to the project, right click, add the active drawing, yes to the project default values. Sheet number has already updated to 002, so I don't need to worry about drawing properties. Now I'm going to export out to spreadsheet again, like we did in the previous video. I'm going to select the general option again, like so, and I'm going to click on OK. We're going to do it for the active drawing to an XLS, Excel file format, and all location codes are going to be extracted. I click on OK. I'm going to save that to my desktop again, like I did last time. So it's saying save in desktop, click on save, and that saves the spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet now has gone out to the desktop. What we need to do now is open up that spreadsheet, edit the data in the spreadsheet, and then import the data back into our project drawing. So once we've got that spreadsheet saved with all the data in it, we need to go to the spreadsheet and make the changes. So let's do that now. I'll go down to my Windows taskbar. There's my spreadsheet there. And as you can see, it's JIC Importing Data XLS. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the descriptions of the objects. So I'm in the Comp tab of the Excel spreadsheet, which stands for Components. And I'm just going to put some descriptions in. That's all I'm going to do. Nothing major. So those are fuses. So we'll put fuse in for each of the fuses, like so. And this is very boring and mundane stuff. You're just typing in entries. There's the relays there. What you can do to speed things up a bit, once you've typed it in once, hover over there and drag, and it puts relay into all three cells for you. And that's our motor there. So I've just put that information in like so. What I'm going to do now is save that spreadsheet. So I'll click on Save. That's saved. And I'll minimize that now back down to the Windows taskbar. Now, this is where it's kind of cool, because what I can do now is update my components on my drawing from that spreadsheet. So I go up to Import now, the Import panel, and go From Spreadsheet. I go onto the desktop now to find my importing spreadsheet. So I go down, keep coming down, I'll go past the folders first, and there's Importing Data. And funnily enough, just above it, there's Exporting Data from the previous video. So if I use that one there, click on Open, I want to do it in the active drawing and also flip any updated tag wire numbers. Click on OK, chugs on through there and look, can you see the fuse descriptions have appeared on the drawing? So if I now go into one of those to edit the component, you'll see the description line has gone in as fuse. Now I haven't changed anything else, I'll just cancel that now. But if I go to the relays as well and go to edit component, you'll see there's relay in the description. Now I've just done the simplest of changes, which is a description line for a component on the drawing. But you can see how important that is if you've got somebody working externally on a spreadsheet that is developing a bill of materials and may need to edit objects on the drawing from that bill of materials.